Hey, Melon Mechanic here. We're in the shop, and today we got a little project I want to do. I have this old die grinder and a chunk of a, aluminum here. What I want to do is I want to make a mount for this. I'm going to go on my lathe, and I can put a little grinder bit on the end of that so I can do some grinding on shafts. I got a project coming up that I got to like turn a uh, 3/8 inch dowel down to like a 9 millimeter, and uh, I could I could do it on that, but I think it's easier um, with the grinder on it because I've done it at a different shop. So uh, I think that's what we're gonna make today, and the piece of aluminum is three quarter inch thick, and is that? Two inches wide. I think that's about two inches. I don't know what material this is. I mean, I don't know what kind of aluminum this is. Um, I have this in my stock. I made a part for a guy, and I told him to order aluminum, and this is what he ordered. Um, so I don't, it's not sixty sixty one, but look at the surface on it. It's like gray. So anyway, I hope it doesn't turn into mush. And we can make our part, but uh, yeah. So let's let's go ahead and think of a way to do this. All right, so here's what I'm thinking for this. Uh, the diameter of this body right here is 1.310. All right, and I think what I want to do is we'll put that right here, and we'll cut a slot in it, and we'll put a fastener through here like that. Okay, and so let's say this distance will be three quarter to the edge of that circle right there. And then this is my mount. And what we'll do is neck this down like so. And that's it. And that should slide in there. We'll drill and tap this. It'll clamp down. And that'll fit in there. All right, I got my program all set. See all the tool paths. Using a half inch end mill, I have it centered on this edge. And it's centered right there, right in the middle of that. So it's going to come over 1.4 something and bore that out right there. So let's. Uh, Let's get this going. So we're gonna hit cycle start. Cycle start, it's gonna dwell. And we'll turn the machine on. Beautiful. All right. Well, you think that's the right size? Let's check. Let's see. All right. So I took the front of it off so it fits. And it's the exact size. So I think I need to open it up just a hair. Yeah. All right. I just added five thousandths to that diameter. On that hole and this sucker fits in there good all right on to the next step all right i got my piece with the hole in it i think the next step we should do is let's go ahead and drill the hole and thread it right here and uh yeah, let me see what kind of fastener i have i'm thinking five sixteenths bolts to go in there yeah let's let's do that let me let me dig through my stuff see what i got all right found a bolt 5 16 18 that's going to go right there it's a tad bit long but i think that's okay uh and again i may not slice it right in the middle 
And they slice it like up here. So I get more, more thread engagement. Ah, we'll cross our bridge when we get there. All right, let's uh let's drill this hole and thread it. Got the piece in the vise. I have it zeroed out here. Now, if you remember, we left three quarters of an inch from this corner to this edge of the hole. So I'm combing over three eighths of an inch, and I'm in the center center of this right here. So let's uh. Go ahead and do a little, little dipple right there. And then shot. Now, five, six, six, eight, 18 is an F drill. All right. All right, that hole is tapped. Now it went about there. So let's figure out where we want to slice it here. Now I can see that. All right, we got sliced. Now we got to drill this hole right here. But uh, kind of made a tuning for you. Hear that? It's got a good ring to it. This is good aluminum. Don't know what it is, but it's machining excellent. So we'll go with it. Now, we'll put that in the vise. Put this back in there, and then what I'll do is drop this down close enough. All right. Now what I need is a five sixteenths. That in there. All right, I got my 5 16 chucked up in there. I've set my stop here because I only want to go down. Come in here. Just barely past that, that cut right there. So there it is. All right, I felt it go all the way through. So, what do you think are chances of this bolt? Oh, yeah. All right, look at this. Boom, it's hold, held on nice and tight. Some of you probably see an issue is how you're supposed to turn the thing on. I think what we're going to do is just cut that off. Yeah, I think that's the easiest thing to do. Cool. Now the next step is to get it to mount in here. So I'm thinking that we do something cool here. Now this is five eighths tall, but it's only half inch deep. So we don't need to blow through all of this. We can only come in here and cut it like this. In the center, and this will be uh, what is it, five eighths? It's 25 wide. Get a better sharpie, and then this we can cut down a half inch, and that'll leave a quarter inch here. And then this will slip on like that. And grab it, and the and the quarter inch that we leave here will make this a lot more solid. Let's do that. We can do that on the CNC. 
Yes. All right, so what I did is I'm gonna machine a rectangular pocket right here. From my zero, I'm coming out four and a half inches to the center of the pocket and coming out eight 125. And that should leave, if I cut this pocket and then I cut this pocket, that should leave five eighths rib down the middle, if I did my math right. We got one side already done. We're cutting the other side. Looking good. Looks good. All right, both sides are machined. Here's my clamp. It's going to go down just like that. Boom. Good, that works. Got a little bit of cleanup to do. I like it. Yep. All right, got this part all cleaned up. It's looking good. Now I was thinking how I'm going to control this thing is probably with a valve right here. So I can turn the valve for speed and then turn it off uh, instead of disconnecting the hose all the time. So that means I could kind of permanently i fix this in the go position. And what I'm thinking is if we put this in here, put a little notch. Put a little notch right here. For that to like slide in and hold that down. And then the valve is giving me my throttle. Let's do that. And I think we can just do that. Just on the bridge port. Let's uh, go ahead and get that going. All right, I got my uh, quarter inch end mill in there. I got it centered this way, and then I got it lined up. If you can see it right to the edge of this uh, the pocket right there. And so what I'm going to do is probably go a quarter inch this way and a quarter inch this way and let's try about 50 to 75 deep to see if that gets me where I want to be and then we'll massage it from there well I just found a problem I don't have enough well I don't have enough tool length ain't that something all right hold on all right luckily I have this long carbide in mill that can go in there that goes all the way down am i all the way through it yet oh yeah cool all right so all right i don't know if you can see but it's not allowing me to go all the way in there we're almost to the correct depth we should probably probably go to 60 65 the width looks okay. All right, let's try that. All right, I want 25 thousandths wider on either side, so it's 50 thousandths wider overall. Got a little bit of wiggle, and that's perfect. There's no give in there. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, what do you say we clean up this side? And I think that's it for now. Oh, I got to get a valve for that. I don't think I got one. Let's go ahead this side real quick. All right, here it is. All put together. How nice this is. It's just one piece. I really like that handle. A little groove right there. I think this turned out nice. One thing I wish I did is put this bolt in the other way around. The head's on the bottom, but I think that's okay. And then I need a big enough wheel, which I don't have, to clear this corner right here. Hopefully I didn't put too much material here. So when I'm grinding on a shaft, it's going to hit here. But I can rotate this and um, get some more clearance. I'll show you. I can probably mount it and then, you know, cant this like that and get that edge in there. I think I'll do that. 
But let's uh, I need to go to the hardware store. I need to get a grinding wheel and the valve for the throttle for the back. Otherwise, this sucker is wide open all the time. So uh, let me get those and we'll be right back. All right, I'm back from the hardware store. I got my valve installed, and I got a new little grinding wheel right there. I got it uh, clamped up in the lathe. I got it centered on the center line this way. I'm going to try something. This is probably the exact wrong way to do this, but I got a kind of a crappy uh, carbide end mill in there that is broken. So what I'm going to try to do is square up this wheel and then i'm going to put this dowel in there and try to grind this because this is this is hard stuff right there let me uh see if this works because i do not have a diamond dressing wheel so let's see this might get loud appeared that worked pretty good it did kind of shine it up so i don't know if i know what i did to this grinding wheel but it's now less out of round so let's take this out and we will put this in this is a 3 8 inch dowel and let's see if we can get this down to some other diameter. Let's go to nine millimeter. Nine millimeter is 0.354. So let's go ahead and uh, see how close we can get to that. All right, there it is. If it'll focus. 3.54. So I think it's going to work. That didn't take that long to do. So overall, I'm happy with it. I like the mount. I like the throttle here. I like doing that. Um, it seems nice and sturdy and solid. Uh, this hose doesn't seem to be in the way. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with it. Uh, yeah. Figure out the parts I could make on this. So uh, anyway, I hope this video was entertaining. And hope oh, somebody learned something from it. Uh, but uh, like always, thank you for watching. And catch you next time.